So now we've discussed the architecture of the uh, our service super scalable all service backend, and now uh, let's let's get into practice, and I will show you the deployment infrastructure of this service. And here are a few objectives that, that I had in mind when I was uh, creating this architecture and infrastructure. So first of all, I wanted it to be scalable to scale to 10,000 requests per second. Also, I want it to be super low latency and I, I saw it somewhere in the requirements that we should have latency like less than 200 milliseconds. Um, and the third one that I want it to be super secure so um, it it should it should protect from DDoS attacks, a different kind of uh, different kind of like uh, brute force and so on and so forth. Um, and also, I wanted it to be the the scalable, like like this the multi region the multi region scalability is probably the requirement for the low latency, right? So we we want to have the low latency. In, in multiple service. And here is, uh, we've just discussed the architecture, and here is the deployment infrastructure. And I can, and, and for this example, for this particular prototype, I have used the Google Cloud Platform because of its simplicity and because of its like out of the box solution, so I can easily just click and deploy all of these. Uh, so the the idea is that we have the centralized, it's, it's not centralized, actually distributed, Google Cloud Platform Load Balancer. And this load balancer distributed among the regions, and this load balancer accepts all the traffic. Um, also, this this load balancer, um, yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't reveal how it is distributed among the regions, but the thing is that the the load balancer in the region the closest to the user will handle the request. Um, and also, yeah, let, let's. Let's consider the example of the region number one, which is the main region. Um, I have used Cloud Run service to run our API, our our API. Um, it just allows running the Docker containers in a serverless way, so I don't need to manage any servers. I just running the Docker container, and Google manages all the resources and scalability around it. So it it scales multiple replicas according to the load that we're getting from load balancers. So if our CPU and RAM goes higher, it just adds replicas and then it downscales. So Google pretty smart managing that. Um, I have used the Google Managed Ready service for the cache. Uh, yeah, because I don't need to take care of the managing the Google, managing, sorry, the Redis. Google takes care of it. It provides all the resources out of the box, like replication, multi-region sca uh, scalability, and so on. And for the message broker, I have used the GCP pops up, uh, mainly because it's serverless and it's Google managed. If we probably won't go like with something that not with something that more cloud agnostic, that not cloud cloud bound, cloud related, I will consider a different one like uh, RabbitMQ for more advanced scenarios and for some simple message brokering, it might be just Redis, right? Um, but yeah, here is the case then. Uh, the the cloud run there has another survey that the command processor. This actually the survey that subscribed to the pops up and its processes as synchronous messages. And also we're using the GCP cloud storage Postgres that is managed solution by Postgres. And uh, Google provides us really a lot of flexibility here because we can we can have the master node and we can add read replicas and also we can scale it among multiple regions. And then the Google Cloud Platform managing Cassandra service for our NoSQL database from for storing the, the, the ses sessions. Um, so how it basically goes, so we have multiple regions that are synchronized with each other, and the region that is closest to the user will handle the, the traffic from the particular user. And all these, um, all these architectures we discussed in previous video, it's scalable by itself, it's scalable horizontally, because we can uh, just if, if we get more traffic to the API, the replicas will scale. The GCP pops up. It just serverless management servers. So so Google takes care of manage of scaling it. The managed Redis we can just create multiple read the right replicas and scale horizontally depending on other traffic. Then the the managed Postgres, of course, master node is not horizontally scalable, but we using the asynchronous operations to 
to write to it so we control the the amount of traffic and we can scale it vertically and and keep the control of the traffic so we don't have traffic spike and we can add a limited amount of read replicas that also make it horizontally scalable the same for cassandra we can just add the, the replicas and have it horizontally scalable then when it comes to region number two so the region number two actually has a read replica for the uh postgres created in region number one so uh the the asynchronous operation of uh, common run processing, it just writes to the master of region number one, and then it gets synchronized back with the, uh, with the read replica in region number two. This is the um, just read replica scaling here. Alternative approach that could be done here is to have sharding. So we storing the user records uh, within the the region th this user i belong to and they are just of course it could be access from other region but the physical location they're only per region i don't like this approach especially for the gaming industry because people might travel and uh, yes i mean we still need to support replication among all regions to have the data consistent and store in all regions so we can provide the best latency and the best experience possible uh, and then the the Cassandra also replicated among the regions, so those replicas are interconnected and synchronized. Uh, the same for Redis. Redis is also interconnected. So uh, yeah, that that's why we can. That's how we can basically uh, have it like deployed in multi-region and in horizontally scalable, in highly scalable manner. So yeah, this is the proposed uh, cloud deployment infrastructure and uh, this infrastructure is is what designed spe specifically for needs of this prototype but if we consider moving with some larger project high scalable project we might want to uh, consider more like uh, decisions more circumstances when making a cloud infrastructure decision so if, for instance, some um, some organizations prefer to sp prefer to stay cloud agnostic, so they they are not bound to a specific cloud provider. So we searching cloud agnostic tools like Kubernetes and creating a separate deployment infrastructure for it. Some people are searching for some more cost efficient ways of cloud infrastructure, and the GCP might be not the most cost efficient. So we also considering like alternative approaches with container orchestrator there are a lot of opportunity here yeah but this is the main example of what i aim to to present you here